Okay, so next bits PAYG tax, pay as you go tax. That's what it stands for. Pay as you go. Okay, so in Australia, when you earn money, you pay income tax. Most workers have tax taken from their pay each pay period. To avoid paying income tax is a huge sum at the end of the financial year. This is called PAYG tax. So basically, every pay slip you get, some money will be taken out as tax throughout the entire year. Employers use a PAYG tax table, like so, to determine how much tax to deduct from the employee's pay. Part of this table is shown below, like this. So weekly earnings and PAYG tax withheld for the weekly earnings. You do not need to remember this. In the exam, we will give you the table and which parts you need to actually solve the question. So basically, know how to use this. Question one. During her university holidays, Megan worked in a factory outlet store and earned $196 per week for eight weeks. Here's the table. So part A, calculate Megan's gross income for the eight weeks. Then part B, how much PAYG tax was deducted from her pay over the eight weeks. All right, so we'll start with first part. So eight weeks, so 196, so gross income is going to be 196 times by eight, which is 1568. And remember, this is gross, so this is before tax. I might just write that down. This here, before tax. Now for part B. How much PAYG tax was deducted from a gross pay or pay over the eight weeks? Basically, in this part, we're matching the 196 to one of these categories, which you can see is this one right here. So I'm looking at this bit. You can see that this matches to $42. So PAYG deductions is going to be 42 times the eight weeks, which is $336. Okay, question two. Gabby earns a gross pay of 584.60 per fortnight. Her deductions are PAYG tax, 38.60 for private health insurance, and 54.90 for superannuation. Part A, use the table to figure out the PAYG tax per fortnight. Part B, net pay, and then part C, total deductions as a percentage of gross income. Let's start with part A. All right, so firstly, earns this, 584.60. This is fortnightly as well, so we're looking at the category category so this one right here which is the 128 so we're gonna circle that one we want that one that right there okay so we can just say PAYG tax is literally just the 128 okay part B we want net pay so net pay equals, remember net is gross pay minus deductions. The gross is 584.60, so 584.60 take away 128 for the tax, take away 38.60 for the health insurance and another 54.90 for superannuation. That should be 363.10. And then part C. So deductions out of percentage of gross income. So we'll look at deductions. So total deductions is the first step. So that's the 128 plus 38.60 plus 54.90, which is... 221.50. So in this case, deductions includes the tax. So deductions here plus the tax. We want the deductions out of the gross income. So percentage is going to be 
221.50 out of the gross, which is 584.60 and times that by 100%. That equals 37.88, blah, blah, blah. We will call that approximately 37.9%. All right, question time, 805.